Hey guys, this is Mike from Morbid Mansion coming at you with another Rancid Reviews. Today, we will be reviewing the dual talking plastic busts that were sold at CVS and I also do believe Michael's. Um, so these were sold around for at least $25 at CVS. I don't know what Michael's probably would have wanted for these, seeing how Michael's sells everything for a lot more than it should be. Probably, it would have been probably like 35 or maybe even 45 there. But yeah, so I wanted to review these because I'm... Um, these are from, they were sold at CVS in 2014, but I think they might have been sold before that because on the bottom of uh, the, the man's, um, or male vampire, whatever you want to call him, on the bottom on his battery case, it says copyright 2011 Magic Powers. I don't know if that means that these were used before 2014, probably like Michael's then, but they just put them in a new box and sent them out, or if maybe mine's were just sitting there on a shelf since 2014, which I very much doubt. So let's go over why these exist. These are a cheaper version of the life-size busts, which are two of my, they're one of my favorite props. They're not my like all-time favorite, but they're up there. They're pretty cool. Um, I actually had the Michaels, the male bust, like the one that was just on its own and no female bust. It was just the life-size bust, but it fell forward. The whole bottom part over here shattered and the head came off of the this part and now the motion sensor got uh, unplugged and I, I have I have yet to fix him to what he can actually do. Um, I do miss the latex face and the mouths. I really hate these because they make the clicking noise, which I like on skeletons, but I hate when they do it on these because it just shows they're a bit more cheap. But however, if it was latex, they probably wouldn't be twenty five dollars. So um, let's go over a little bit on this. Uh, these were sold again at CVS. I don't really need to tell you that. Uh, the battery case is on the mail as usual on these. Um, here's the bottom. Hold it this way so you can, let's see if it focuses on the words that are there. Let me move these wires out of the way. Um, oh! Uh, I knocked over my phone. Marvelous. Okay. Let's see, can you see that? See, there it goes. It says 2011 Magic Power, but I bought it in 2014. You have a Try Me, the orange, an on and off switch, and then you have the other wire for the female so you can unplug her from the rest. These take four AA batteries. Um, which isn't that bad. Um, I'm pretty sure they both have sound sensors. They both have their own speakers, which is nice, at least. They could have just, you know, put a speaker on this one. Oh, let me let it focus. Yeah, they could have just put a speaker on this one and not in that one, but they both have their own speakers. Pretty sure they both have their own sensors, too. Oh, well, showing part of the box again. Sorry about that. I don't really have a camera stand for my phone. Um, and I don't want, you know... Because if I was holding it, it would be like this the whole time. So let's just be happy it's not like that. Um, pretty sure she has her own sound sensor because if I tap her, it'll set, um, they'll set they'll set each other off. But maybe it's just... I mean, there are only four wires in this little bundle here. Not like 25. Probably like two for the motor, two for the lights. But then I don't know what the speaker would run off of. I don't know. Maybe the motor and the eyes use the same exact power, which I would not be surprised. So maybe it's, you know, two... For the lights in the mouth, in the mouth, and then two for the speaker. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I might as well show you what they can do. I don't have the box right here in front of me, but I still have it. Um, it's just one of those like orange back boxes with like the plastic glass front on it. Um, the cheaper boxes. Um, but yeah, so might as well show you what he does. Uh, these still work perfectly, and let's hope they still do after a couple more years. <coughs> So, um, I forgot to mention, their phrases are the same as the life-sized ones, it's just they're put on a smaller scale. Now, um, I also do not like the fact these are made of cheap plastic and hollow. There's also a hole down here, which I would guess is for a motion sensor, but there is no motion sensor there. I can show you. Well, it will probably turn on the second eight. Yeah, I hate when props do that. Turn them off. As you can see, no motion sensor. There's just a hole there, unless mine's the sensor's pushed back. But they are sound activated. Okay, let's shut them off before they keep going. Let me turn them off. Oh, 
Well, whoop, tap the button, turn it off. All right. Um, as you can see, when one gets set off, it's weird when you like tap this one. You expect this one to go off, and then that one goes off. I don't know. I mean, this one is a lot lighter too, because it doesn't have a battery case. It's just plastic on the bottom. Um, but yeah. So these are the uh, twin talking busts. Would I suggest these? Hmm. I mean, if you find one for twenty-five, and let's just say you're looking for something small, not too big. It's something that's nice. Like if you don't have a lot of like room and you wanna, you don't have enough money for the bigger ones. These are definitely something nice, but they are a downgrade. They don't have as many moving parts, and they don't look as nice. But yeah, so that's it for this um, rancid review. I don't know if I said rancid before. I don't know. I'm too lazy to re-record this. Anyways, um, I'll probably be doing a couple more of these before I end this series. Um, mostly because I, I feel like I'm ripping off other YouTubers, and I'm going to do a video on that about what's wrong, in my opinion, what's wrong with some of the Hunter YouTube haunters. Alright, uh, that's about it, and that's the end of this video.